Okay, here in round two, we have the choice we'll play first. And uh, we're going to keep this. Once again, not, not a very fast hand, but we do have our most important colors hit because we actually need double blue for the late game and we only need one white for, I think, every spell in our deck. So um, I think it's, it's a fine keep. The enhanced awareness, if we flood out or something, is also similarly nice to have. Okay. Potentially a Mardu warrior deck or something along those lines. Okay. Sultai Emissary. Yeah, at this point I'm thinking pretty confidently he's going to be Warriors. He's already played two. He's kind of got the right color set up for it. So, we'll see. I think a big problem is playing the Sky Captain on an empty board. It's not really the value you're looking for. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say. That makes more sense. Doesn't have a white mana yet, which is interesting. Okay. If that's the best play he's got, I don't feel too bad about that. All right. I think we actually soul summons here. The pro Once again, the problem with playing the Sky Captain is if he kills it, which seems likely, I don't get any value off of it. So... I'd rather play the Soul Summons here. Granted, it's cheaper and doesn't make the best use of my mana, but I still kind of like it. Um, Warden of the Eye underneath. It's not really a card I want to draw right now anyway. So, not that big of a deal. This way, you know, if he wants to use Debilitating Injury, so be it. Then I'll follow up with a Captain. If he wants to use Bring Low or something like that. All of those are fine. If he has a Raider Spoils, I guess I'd probably just take two. And then I'll just have to play the Sky Captain. But I definitely can block here. He gets a Manifest guy, but I don't think that matters. Okay. It's getting quite the board presence set up now. Oh, okay. Well, it's not that big of a deal. It would have been worse if he played like a morph off of it or something, so. Not too bad. Let's, uh, well, can't quite play that one, so let's drop the Sky Captain and then pass. So as of now, depending on how he attacks, of course. Okay. So I think I'm actually just going to block his manifest here. Hope he can't flip it. I'm going to take five, but the plan is to buff my guy. Smoldering Efreet was the card. All right. Well, didn't work out that badly for us. Could have a bring low here, which would kill our warden. Put us in a more precarious spot, but okay. Bloodsucker is acceptable. Let's see if we can't. There we go. All right. So now we have uh, at least have enhanced awareness on, but we're not in a big hurry to cast that. Actually, I'm going to wait until the end of his turn to do that um, in case I need to smite for some reason, some sort of buff spell he uses this turn. I'm definitely hoping he doesn't have removal, but if he does, it's not quite the end of the game just yet, so... Looking for an untapped land so I can resolve my Sage Eye Avengers, but untapped red mana would be beneficial as well, but I think we only have one of those. The rest are tapped lands. Looks like he's going to go into attack mode. Alright, so attacking for two. I 
don't see a reason to not block. If he has removal, so be it, but it's more of like he's probably generating raid or something. I mean, he could heart wild slash it, I guess, but even then it's not that bad. I figure it's more likely a raid. Sultai Scavenger. All right. So it's just more of a deception play, which is fine. So let's uh, go to end of turn, and oop, can't do that one. So let's do Enhanced Awareness. And I guess we dump the tapped land. We'll untap. All right, Mystic gives us our red mana. But I think we kind of need to play the Sage Eye Avengers here, especially since I can potentially bounce the Scavengers if he can't answer it. So I think we just slam our rare here. Alright, so he's going to bounce our Manifest guy, which is pretty hardcore, and we're going to take 4, 7, 9, 12. Oh, it's exactly lethal. Well, that's unfortunate. So, pretty harsh loss to Active Treason this time around. For Xaxes, too, which is not ideal. Wait a second. If its power is less. Oh. Well, I guess we're not dead. Pretty close, though. I guess the problem is the... He's going to be able to sack that. What are we taking? 3, 5, 7, 11. Definitely going to be close to death, but I don't think we're dead just yet. So, let's play the bivouac. We've got to attack with the sage eye and bounce the scavenger. Yes. And then... I think what we do is play Mystic, Morphed. Fortunately, I don't get a... Well, I think that's actually... Well, I guess we can't. Oh, wait, we can. Okay. So I morph this, and then it actually gives me... If I unmorph it and leave up a white, I can actually cast Deflecting Palm. So this actually prevents me from dying to, say... Arrow storm or something like that, because this is a source. But I do definitely have to do some blocks here. Okay. Skull Hunter. All right. I think that's acceptable. I think the right question is, what are we discarding? He can't use this now. Is that right? I think I want to kill that Bloodsucker as soon as possible. So I'm not going to discard Cunning Strike. I'm not going to discard Deflecting Palm, I don't think. kind of am debating ditching the Smite. I think I ditched the Smite because I even like having the Soul Summons is just putting more bodies on the ground here. So I think we're going to get rid of Smite. I, there's a decent argument. You know, there's a reasonable argument for Soul Summons here. Smite gives me outs against future big threats. All right. I convinced myself. I'm going to do the Soul Summons. So... 
think we're bouncing Disowned Ancestor. Ooh, that's nice to have. All right, so we're going to bounce Disowned Ancestor. And I think we're actually just going to Cunning Strike now. So let's unmorph this. We get three mana. And we'll go... Pay two. And we still have Feet of Resistance. Oh, I should have prowessed. Well... Nah, that's okay. I should have prowessed, but it's not the end-all be-all. So, leaving up Deflecting Palm, Feet of Resistance, and actually Smite the Monstrous as well. So, I can play... I could have actually played post-combat Alabaster Kirin, but I do not think that was the right choice. And Ancestor. Okay. So... Um... I could smite the monstrous, the gore swine. Which might actually just be the play. It's not bad. Gore swine's not a problem, though, I guess. I think I'd rather just draw cards for now. Oof. Windswept Heat's kind of a liability. Uh, I'm going to leave it in my hand in case he's got another Skull Hunter. I think we actually just... Uh, Swing with Avengers, bounce the Gore Swine. Oh, it didn't work. That's right. All right. For some reason, I think it's the same power. I don't know why. But we'll play a Kirin and then pass. Let's see if he has something that could maybe kill us here, but we have Deflecting Palm, so I would think that'd be difficult. I feel like most... And the, the funniest part about that uh, mistake was it. he already... Sh he just showed me earlier that it doesn't do that, so I don't know why... why I thought it did, but... We've got, uh, I think, all of the outs... We need to... I don't want to say all of the outs. Because then my opponent might magically come up with some card that beats me here. But I would say for the most part, we're in a pretty good place. I mean, at the very least, I can deflecting palm his gore swine after attacks, see if it resolves, and then uh, he goes to two. Okay, well, let's deflecting palm. So I want to see if it finds its way on that gore swine first. All right. And we'll block here. This might have actually been the dangerous way to do it, now that I think about it. The main reason being, if he he can just go land Aerostorm now, which would actually win. I think the correct play would have been, I believe, block here, and then block Gorsefine with Rattleclaw Mystic, probably. That way I would have been able to leave up. Um, well, it didn't matter this time, but I... I 
in retrospect, I don't think I did that correctly. I think the correct play, like I said, was to do blocks, always leaving up the deflecting poem, because there is a chance, especially with that many cards, that he could have just played a land and, and burned us out. So that was a dangerous play. I don't agree with... It worked out for us that time, but I don't agree that it was the optimal play. Um, sideboard based on the knowledge of what our opponent's playing? Uh, not really. We don't have that good of... We don't have that many sideboard options. I mean, Stubborn Denial is one, but it's, like I mentioned, it's not even that good in our deck. So, Warbemoth is an option, but I don't know where I would want to bring that in, really. So I think we're just going to stick with what we got, where our main deck is is essentially what our deck's going to be. So, okay. Very good keep here. All three colors. Solid uh, progression, potentially, here. I am a big Herald of Anaphensa plan, uh, fan, rather. Okay. All right. Did not see his white mana last time. Is he missing his land drop again? Looks like he is. All right. Well, it's going to be pretty helpful for us here. Uh, we're still on the outlast plan. I don't like... I don't really see the need to play the Horde Chief. I think the rule of thumb is typically, well, there is no rule of thumb, but in the, in this circumstance, it just feels to me better to just keep rolling up the, the Herald of Anafenza. Could have attacked there. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, let's play our Bivouac, use Herald again, and pass. I think the exception to the Herald turn is going to be when I can play Mind Scour Dragon. All right. Still could attack with the Ancestor, which is interesting. Um, all right. Guess we do Herald again. Could smite it now at this point, but he could still bring low it as well. Next turn we'll have the dragon though, which should make our Will of the Naga cheaper if I self mill. Kind of the main issue with Mind Scour Dragon is, well, you don't want to mill your opponent much in this format. There's a lot of delve cards in a lot of different groups. So, um, yeah, I think we'll probably triple block here. I can't think of anything you can flip for four besides Canyon Lurkers. And if it is Canyon Lurkers, then it's really not that big of a deal. All right, Bond Ken. Um, but the reason that I blocked with three was if he had a removal spell, he would have been able to, uh, eat the warriors. So I think it was correct to do it like that. This turn we get to swing with Herald and play a 4-4 dragon though, which is pretty good. And we get a cleric too, which isn't bad. So, all right, let's get in with Herald, who is now a pretty sizable body. And we'll drop our dragon. Hmm. 
This is interesting. Well, let's block the War Shrieker. Could sack it to the Blood Seeker, I guess. All right. Or Blood Sucker, rather. Douse and Gloom. All right. That's legitimate. Now, I think that we... Well, what are my options? I can... I have potentially seven untapped mana or six in a tap. So I can outlast plus play Horde Chief, get in with the Warrior. I can also get in for five. Well, almost like making Herald bigger. I'm not really using my mana for anything else, so... It's the difference between dealing damage to him and making my guy bigger and getting another token. I actually don't know what's better. Could be getting the damage in here is a pretty good opportunity. But then it's vulnerable to bring low, which is a real thing. Hmm. I don't know. It's actually a tough question. I think I get the damage in here. I'm not playing around bring low, granted, but... What I am doing is making my will the Naga better for future attacks. So I think this is correct. It's probably a good time to get on the offensive, especially since he's missing land drops and presumably has spells that he would like to play. So now we can drop Cleric. Oh no. Do I not have any other white man? I can't play my Horde Chief now. I just realized that uh, after the fact. Well, that didn't work out. Thankfully, it's not the uh, end-all, be-all here, but uh, not the best either. I wouldn't mind a dig through time or the five-drop draw three, which I can't recall the name of. Uh, enhanced Awareness. I've played with that card enough now where I should really know the name. So he found his fifth mana. We'll see how much it matters. All right. Take our three. War Shrieker. And Sultai Emissary. Okay. Well, there's another white white mana. Alright. Well, I think we're back in Herald of Anafenza build mode, and I guess I have to play the Horde Chief for less value this turn, which is certainly a less attractive option, but I guess it's wisest to uh, swing with the Warrior. Reason being, whether he blocks or not, I get a Warrior, and he could be fearful about, you know, blocking here. You never know. He may not know. We're just trying to get Raid. Yeah, we ended up making a trade out of it, so not that bad. He is eventually going to find Act of Treason, which could be a big issue. In fact, he found it now, but could have collateral damage as his last card, which would be, you know, oh, he's got the, the Bloodsucker, yeah, so he gets to sack it, and we lose life, so it didn't quite work out as well as I would have liked. So 
So I think the blocks are this and this. And we'll chump our herald and we'll take three. And he's going to sack and make us lose life. So we're going to need something here. Yep, pretty big bummer there, but act of treason was the uh, was the issue. All right, more land unfortunately is not going to do it. So I guess we pass, and at this point we probably have to will of the Naga, his uh, bloodsucker and ancestor. If he attacks, I'll double block it. I'm not going to play around creatures when we're at this point. Especially creatures I don't really care about losing at this point. Alright, it's a pretty big problem. I have to come up with a solution for that. That guy's good. All right, well, I don't really want to trade, so I guess we chump. No plays, I guess that's good. Ooh, smite's good. Um, That's interesting. Let's, uh, that is interesting. Very interesting. I think we just we definitely swing. I guess we have to bounce the the twins. Going to take 6 on the crackback though. That's pretty bad. I mean, my other option was to stay back, but can't really afford to do that either. All right, so I guess we block the manifest. Kind of hope he pumps here, but don't know how likely that is yet. Oh, well. Huh, that's interesting. I mean, if I smite, then he gets to sack, but, and then I can't, I see, then I can't bounce it. Let's see if he sacks it anyway. Well, he didn't sack it, all right. At least he doesn't have a play, I guess. Ooh, oh, coming strike. Uh, I guess it's not the best, since I can't really do all that much with it, but can get in some good damage here, I guess. All right. Let's, uh, oh, I, I see, okay, well, let's, uh, let's do the Avengers and we'll bounce the Bloodsucker. I do see the problem with this, though, okay. This is going to be tough, it depends on how he plays it now. Yeah. 
Because he can attack me and then play Bloodsucker and then sack. May have been wrong to attack there. Well, let's see how he does it. I may have wanted to... That's tough. Might have been in my best interest to just cunning strike, but wasn't sure if he plays the... Because I kind of feel like if he plays the Bloodsucker right away... Well, let's see if I can deflecting palm that. For the win. How amazing would that be of a top deck? Oh my god. Amazing. Pretty amazing. Well, I'm glad that was caught on camera. Wow. All right. See you in the finals.